Warning, this video contains graphic images that may not be suitable for little sissy bitches, so your discretion is advised. We kill shit here. What's up guys? We're at the beaver ponds. It is freaking cold as a mofo here. Whew. My waders are frozen because they're still wet from last time, but we got new beaver sign. New beaver sign. New beaver sign. New dead beaver. Look at that big old tail. We got us a beaver laying there, but I'm gonna go ahead and check what we else we have here. I wanna put snares here. I know I got some fresh beaver open. They got it all opened up over that way. This is where I caught that muskrat. I put a, a 110 in there, nothing. Imagine that. Beaver came out here, chewing. There's still some beaver here. Look at that. Beaver came out here. I have a feeling they're gonna, they pushed around my 110s. Beaver climbed out here. Jesus. Sheesh. Uh oh. <laughs> uh oh. <laughs> I don't see my pony. This means this is active. Because my pony tab is gone. Uh oh. Is he I knew I should have. I'll be done. I don't feel my colony trap at all. I know I put one there. Surely they didn't push that clear up inside of there. I'm gonna have to come with a treble hook and find it. Found it. All the way out here. With a muskrat in it. Boy, I got lucky. Beavers pushed it out. We gotta put a 330 here because I just about lost that trap. No more of that. Let's go check our other one. Whew, I got lucky. I had a feeling beavers were gonna push it out. But I still said it anyways. Pushing my stuff around. So we won't reset that. It's too dangerous. We will put it down here where we caught the last muskrat. The 110 must have, must be just off to the side or something. I don't see how that's missing him. There's no way. That 110's guarding that one perfect. Well, pull this guy out and see what he looks like. We'll put this right back where it was. <sighs> oh yeah, another nice beaver. Sweet. Well, we're catching stuff. Let's go down here. I gotta put a 330 in that hole. And then we'll go check that stuff. Well, this is starting off to look exactly the same as the last one. Oh, it's here. Right here. I don't see nothing in it. I couldn't see it at all. Oh, there's some in it. Oh, another muskrat. Sweet. 
Oh, we we'll we'll reset that one then. Let me get you guys on my head here. The beaver still pushed it out. It's definitely farther than where I put it. So this is probably got a beaver in it too. That I probably should put a 330 in here. Yeah. Yeah, we're gonna do that. We're gonna put a 330 in there too. This is too good of a too good of a spot. There's too many beavers. <laughs> this is interesting. There's a hut here and there's one right across from it. I'd say that den's gonna be here. And there's definitely gonna be one over there on that hut too. How deep. Fairly deep. How is that possible? Beaver chews clear up here. They chewed off here. Did you get on a ladder, the water that high at one point? I don't believe it. Jeez, that's so wide. There's a pretty good one there. I'm gonna mark our spots here. Can't feel anything. Right here. I need one there. Nothing there. Really deep. Oh, there's gonna be one up under there. That's really deep. I don't like that one. can get these. It's pretty deep. Oh guys, my hands, our hand got super cool. Look how red it is. <laughs> Jeez. I had this in like waders. Get them heated up. And stuck my hand in the water twice with this really strong wind. You guys can't really feel it or hear it probably because I'm down in this bowl. But it is so nippy. Here's my new line. Not that I'm a pussy, but my hands are colder today than they've been probably most of this trapping season. You get used to, I don't know, it's just the air. I could probably put my hands under the water and it's warmer, obviously warmer under the water than it is. Can't explain it. Some days the water is super freaking cold. Like today. All right, well we're gonna put this where I just caught the muskrat because my conibear or my colony trap was moved. So I know there's probably beaver there too. Found me a couple sticks to use. We'll go get that beaver out, get that reset, put it one in that where that one colony trap was really moved. A lot of times I take them electric fence rods you, you see me carrying. I use those to mark my colony traps, but I got them used right now. I need to go buy a couple dozen of them. They make really good markers. So usually a colony trap doesn't go anywhere, but obviously the beaver are pushing them. That's not good. Muskrat season's almost over, like six days, so 
I'm not that ambitious. I'm gonna put out a few mink boxes and see what happens. There's always next year here. Start off here early, but like, hey, I'm gonna go murder some. Go and murder some uh, some beavers because they're always gonna be coming back. And then get the mink while I'm in here. So we're basically gonna go wherever this trap, well, right there apparently. I was gonna say wherever this trap will touch the bottom or be out of the in the water without sticking out, which is right here. And this is not gonna go anywhere. This is gonna be my anchor for the trap. This trap, the beaver should just be dead right here. I got some really good sticks today for this, but since everybody's getting butthurt about me not wiring all my traps, there's also this for an emergency, and that's that. This guy will just go back with me. That, mus that muskrat's almost hard already, which is good. I don't want him to freeze to the range for the four-wheeler. We'll let him freeze up. <clears throat> I was gonna let the beavers be okay for a minute and I was gonna focus on muskrats, but me almost losing that colony trap, I'm like, screw you then. <sighs> I'm coming for you now. stick for this one. Yeah. You guys gonna come out and play? Okay. It's just right here. I didn't want to be clear over that way. We are off. We are off. Get a lot of crews, I get a lot of people ask me, why do you put a dive stick right at a hole? Because they come out of there with their nose up high for some reason. They're gonna have to dive now for sure. And I'm wired off over here. Perfect. I expect a beaver in this one or that one. More than likely I'll have one here this weekend. When I got more time, I'll focus getting this loaded, but I got too many irons in the fire. I got Flair's Ranch I gotta go to right after here. So it's, and then I gotta package packages. So yeah, I'm busy. People, I've been getting comments saying, where are you? Why are you always trapping late in the day? Well, that's cause that's all the time I got. Uh -oh. 
here. I got him out. That's another stud right there. Oh, too far. Okay, maybe that'll work. Well, paid off to put that one here, didn't it, boys? Boom, there he is. See, this is what I gotta worry about with my waders. Look at all them thorns on that. It's everywhere. I'm putting them through the paces. I, I would not be surprised if I don't get a leak at some point just because of the stuff I'm trapping around. I found this. This is what they're coming up here for. You can see it still. That's what they're cutting out down up there. He must have been coming down with it, got caught and dropped it. But you can see it's cleaned up here. Oh, let him get that one. Oh, you're gonna watch these sticks here. You wanna throw whatever you can out of the way. I just hit that beaver. Someone's gonna get me for animal abuse. We get rid of these sticks that can go on that pan. That's all I got. All right, well, muskrat, two muskrats and a beaver so far. Let's go downstream. We got other plans for these musk colony traps anyways. I gotta get some more. It's a, we'll let you know more about that when the time comes, but we got a opportunity at it. It's something awesome. So there we go. Get these guys back flat. All you gotta do is tilt these down, doors down, fold. Pretty handy. About lost one of them though. Okay, well. I don't think I got the last one yet. I think that's pretty apparent. These are my cable restraints. I did not dip them. I didn't do anything. Beaver, you don't really have to worry too much. We'll find out, but they're pretty, there's a lot of snow. It's gonna be shiny, so. I think we're gonna be fine. I could have dipped them, but we're gonna try it this way. Coyotes, you definitely wanna get rid of that shine. Now come on. Here's why I hate, here's why I hate them. That's why I hate any kind of cables, and that's why I don't use cables for drowners. Because of that, I hate them. All right, we're gonna put at least one snare on this trail. I gotta get it done right now or I'll, I won't do it at all. Well, I see raccoon are in here. That's less than ideal. Probably end up catching a raccoon. Will a beaver know to come over here and cut this cable off of this tree? That is a question I'm asking you guys because I don't think they're that smart. But somebody will tell me I'm stupid for putting this on here. But I'm thinking they just gonna be like, help me, you know? And Sarah McLaughlin commercial is gonna be playing in the background. That's how I'm picturing it. But maybe someone else sees it differently than I do. Got a lot of swivel. That will tighten up on that tree, and if that beaver don't, if that beaver cuts that thing, then he's an educated beaver for sure. 
probably end up catching a raccoon because I could see their tracks. We are in the middle of kind of a the, the, the rut of the raccoons, so. I don't know how much I need because I don't know where I'm going to be able to stick this. Oh, imagine that, right in there. That don't happen very often. The beavers are supposedly really easy to snare. I've caught a few, but I don't, I don't, I live in Missouri, so I don't snare a whole lot of beaver. But when I have, they have been fairly easy to snare. That's no lie. I don't know. I don't want a real big loop. I just want a small loop. I want them to walk into it. You figure their head is huge. I want to go off the ground just a little bit. And I'm putting a small loop. Definitely going to catch a raccoon. But that's beautiful. They're going to come down here without a care in the world. Like they have been. I'm going to go a little bit high. I know they carry their head pretty low. But I want to make sure that they... I'm probably... I'm going to go about that far off the ground. I think should get them. We'll see. Well, someone mentioned to put uh, some things on here, which is a pretty awesome idea. Well, nothing in there. That's a dud. Look at this all open. It did get pretty warm yesterday. I don't see any beaver sign here that's new. Maybe there. I gotta put this trap deeper. Definitely climbing out over there. Rebar is definitely pulled up. I've got a pretty good feeling about this one, unless it's a raccoon. I'd say we probably got one here, but I want to still want to put that trap a little deeper. We do have coon tracks right here. What do we got here? Oh, we got something. Oh, oh boy. Look at there. 17 beavers so far. 17 beaver. He'll be. That paid off finally. I don't know. I'll drive to there, right? Yeah, so I can walk over and grab him. If I got more, if not, I'll just walk back here and grab him. Oh, beave on the finally on that drowner. Still got more tracks. 17 beaver. I'm gonna move over because I got this tree here. It's in my way of my slider, and I was worried, been worried about it. It worked that time, but I'm gonna fix it. It's nice down here in a hole. I want to get this. That's not a very good anchor. This is where I need longer, longer stakes. Okay, so this is, we just stuck a stick up like so. It's kind of saying, hey, go that way. We're gonna put our trap down a little deeper. I 
want it to be solid on the bottom. There we go. Make sure everything's working right. Happy with that. All right, let's go check the rest of them. An old beaver. Number 17. Right now, I ain't seeing nothing. Water's really dirty. Oh, we didn't get nothing under the crossover. Got something here. Freaking mink or a muskrat. What are you? You're tiny, whatever you are. Another muskrat. He's dead. I thought it was that mink. I was like, he took a wrong turn. I don't really want to be resetting traps for for muskrat. I told you when I get those snapped off traps that there could be muskrats and sure enough there is a muskrat here. But there's also beaver and I, you see what they do to my colonies. So we can't really trap them like we want to. They ain't very big. It must be must be a lot more muskrats here than I thought. That's why those were so many mink tracks. Well, I was hoping for at least one more. Still got a chance. I don't know how many's down in here. There's way, I already caught way more than I thought I would here. Imagine being a beaver and you're like, hey Frank. Oh Frank, the muskrat has to go out first. He's like, hey, go out there, I heard noises. We'll see if the coast is clear. Oop. Then you're dead. Frankie's dead. I keep hearing noises myself. I mean, for one to just barrel out of there. All right, well. I hear popping sounds up in there. Well, I got all the beavers carried back up. They're all over at the foiler and the muskrats. So look at this. I'm like, I'm gonna go for a walk around here and hit these easy ones until I get my age stands. I got them at the house. I just haven't got them out yet. I'm gonna go and see if I can get, we need one here. I mean, look, beaver got out, chewed a few trees. So we gotta put one here. They're keeping it open. It's pretty deep actually really deep yeah that's perfect pretty deep should be a beaver at this pond tomorrow when I come back because these are all quality sets I've just put in this will be trap number three for beaver on this pond, these are brand new. A lot of these don't even have the tags off of them yet. 
they're kind of iffy if I trust them or not. <laughs> Dukes are good traps, but I'll tell you what, any new trap is kind of dangerous. I might have to move over some. This is why I... I can feel it right there. That's perfect. And that's not going to freeze in because if it was going to freeze in, this would already be frozen. It's cold as it is right now. Check my safeties. Where's another damn safety at? Just so a lot of guys know, you don't have to look good setting your traps. You don't have to be a pro. They don't have to be like, oh, look at this. You can screw up a lot. You just need to catch. <laughs> it doesn't matter what your set looks like, as long as it catches. And this ain't going anywhere. And I just put that stick there to hold my safety, even though I got wire in my pocket. I got wire in my pocket for those, but we're not using it. I'm been doing it this way for years. My biggest concern is me leaving the safeties on. I do that frequently. So there's the beavers are going right this way to meet up with their friends. I think there's just not a lot of fresh, real soft food like there is over there. They can go over there and they cut them small trees down without having to do anything. Ugh. Quick. And that's probably where you would get one. Aha, right here, look at this. Look who we're coming up on. So earlier I walked over there. If you don't have the footage in here, then I, it wasn't worth putting in, but I was just over there and I could see this hut. And I could see that they're going from hut to hut. There's a clear bubble trail going back and forth here. Real deep over there, hopefully this shallow right here, because this is where I want my trap. They're climbing out over there and they're going that way to eat. So, they're hungry. They're out of food, guys. They don't definitely don't know about food piles here. This is gonna be our other quality set we want. We want them somewhere that they're for sure gonna catch. You don't wanna second guess it. You can 100% tell if you guys seen that there's a run here. They go that way and then they go right into that tree right there. So it's probably a run going under that tree because it's shallow here, you can see the bottom. No, I can't show it to you, but hopefully you can see it. Another good spot for 330 over there. So here, Right where my feet are. Well, I got a good backing there. I'll put. I'll use my stick over here as blocking. There we go. Now I say I want a quality spot that'll catch, but that don't mean I want to catch one here tonight. <laughs> but it looks the best to me. It definitely looks the best. There could be one right there. I'm not going to step over there because I have no intentions on setting a trap there because I don't have a, another trap in my hands. <clears throat> so I won't set, but I don't want to disturb it. But I guarantee you there's probably at least one more exit.
careful not to set off your trap when you're going down with it. You want to get all the way down here on the bottom, below any sticks or debris. And there's a stick there, but I just moved it. Oh, look at this. Look at these sticks. Oh, where were you my whole life? Never can find sticks like that. Even 330 would be like, damn, look at that stick. Look at that swivel stick. <laughs> oh, a little trap line humor. If you guys know, you know. If you don't, you don't. Sometimes it's hard to find a stick. <coughs> For me, anyways. Okay. Well, there she is. That beaver will be laying here if he gets caught. Good old cable restraint. I'm gonna get me a cable restraint beaver here. <clears throat> get that so it'll drop straight down on that son of a bitch once he touches it. Get him any old cable restraint. Just off the bottom, I need some natural blocking here, like we would a coyote. Something they won't chew up. nothing of it because it looks like you know keep screwing it up here just go in there there we go I need his chin to get in there and you got him and then since I only have it attached to this sapling I'm gonna run me another wire Yeah, someone will say, why don't you get an extension or a rebar or something. I'm using what I have, that's what I recommend for everybody else to do. Use whatever you got. This is just a secondary defense. Because if I get a raccoon on there, it's going to... Gonna have to stand the test of time, stupid ass raccoon. There we go. That's all it is. I almost want it higher. I just don't know if I like it that low. Like everybody says to do. That's better for me. They're gonna pull that down. The more time I'm trapping, the better. I just get burned out not having anything in traps after a couple days, so it's nice to have catches pretty frequent. Beautiful out right here. You guys, it's so windy, I can hear the trees rustling above me. It's so windy. But not in this bowl, it ain't. It's beautiful. These guys are gonna have to park the, park the, uh, Four are in the freaking shed to get them off once I get on the get moving they're gonna freeze right to it uh, Time to get the old ranger back as soon as I'm done with flares Cause uh It's definitely warmer driving the ranger well guys, 17 beaver off of this pond. I'm counting this all as one reservoir because that one pours into that one. And then there's that one pond over, just, just over the hill. It's literally right over this hill. There's that other pond that has beaver in it, but that's the one that dropped. We haven't even done nothing. We snapped all the traps that walked away from it for a little while. Well, that's a, that's a wrap for today. I appreciate it, guys. Hey, we're on the road to 100K, guys. We're getting close. About to hit 87,000. I appreciate it. We're going to have a bunch of giveaways. We're going to do it. We're going to do it the right way. We're going to have a party. It's going to be awesome whenever it happens. So if you could share me out, uh, 
subscribe tell your friends whatever we got to do let's do it out here working my butt off getting you guys these videos i'm having fun though but i'd, I'd sure like to hit that 100k so thanks for watching